Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Tales of Vesperia and uh, of course we are, and let's uh, make sure I say it correctly this time, <laughs> the Forgotten Shrine Bactian, because I think I said it wrong the last time a couple of times. Uh, we are in pursuit of uh, Alexei and Estelle. Alexei of course uh, kidnapped her and we're trying to save her ourselves. Uh, so let's hope uh, we can get through this entire dungeon today and get to her and save her if we can. But uh, I don't think we're even halfway there yet, so it's gonna take some effort and we're gonna make that effort. I did change the team a little bit. And I still don't know what these things are for. Uh, I switched Judith with Flynn, uh, also because uh, he's a little bit new, but moreover he has uh, first aid. So if Carol is running short on healing, or he's being pestered, then Flynn can uh, take over if needed. Especially considering now uh, we do not have uh, Estelle with us to, uh, well, keep us alive. We want to uh, make sure that Carol has the ability to at least uh, attempt to do so. Nothing in here. Oh, and uh, in case you're wondering, I'm just going uh, in the directions randomly, unless I have like an indicator where I need to go, and then I go the wrong way. <laughs> That's over. It's definitely over. Lottery gel. Ooh, and kill him. Well, he hasn't had an upgrade in a little while. Stronger and... Ooh, a dash cancel. Very nice. Oh, and I'm still just heading these things just in case it triggers something in this dungeon. You never know, it could be that we needed to light them all up to power something. And that way we wouldn't have to be able to uh, go back. It's the Royal Guard. That has to mean we're on the right track. Good call, Carol. Estelle's gotta be back there somewhere. You're a captain, aren't you? Can't you tell them to get out of the way? The Royal Guard doesn't obey anyone but the Commandant. We don't have much time. Let's make this quick. We'll destroy them in no time. Mm, we'll definitely attempt to do that. But we do have to get rid of their bishops, because these can be a real handful if we let them do their own thing. And I have sent uh, Flynn to the strongest enemy on the field. That way, uh, if Yuri needs to protect someone else from another unit, Flynn will at least make sure that the strongest one is being kept busy. Orange and lemon gel. Good. I don't know what this is, but it looks complicated. This is a barrier that's been locked up somehow with an encrypted formula. Can you open it? It uses an ancient technology that's barely been studied at all. Even I've only seen something like this in books. I couldn't even guess how long a thorough analysis might take. I'm guessing we can't just force our way through. Locks usually aren't placed on anything that's easily broken into. Yeah, you're right. Wait, how do you think Alexei got through here? He made it, Carol. That's why he uh, is on the other side. He probably forced the lock using Estelle's... 
The power of the child of the full moon. Which means he made her use her power again. Lady Estelise's power. <sighs> Someone's here. Duke, why are you here? You. How is the young lady, the child of the full moon? Alexei's got her somewhere up ahead. I see. So he has made his move. Oh, he definitely does. Uh, made some moves. Are you here because of him too? The air cranny in this region has become severely imbalanced. I have come to restrain it. By restrain? You mean you actually have a way to do that? To quiet the air crane, the cause of the imbalance must be removed. Just come out and say it. You mean kill Estelle. What? That's enough. What is it with blaming all the world's problems on a single girl? An unstable child of the full moon cannot be ignored. You're as hard-headed as Pharaoh. I thought as a human you'd see things differently. Mm, I don't think if the Duke is human, cause he's weird. <laughs> Our common bond as humans is nothing. A single life cannot be privileged over the fate of the world. Yeah, never mind that without a bunch of those single lives, there'd be no world. Listen, she may be a bumbling, sheltered excuse for a princess, but she's one of ours. She's none of your concern. So back off! Do you say that knowing just how great a threat her existence poses? Yes. Yes, he does. Because Yuri would do anything for his friends. What we know has got nothing to do with it. Our motto is always do what's right. And if that means having to get up close and personal with you, then so be it. <laughs> is he convincing? Very well. The time has come to show me the resolve that so impressed Pharaoh. Wait. This is De Nomos. It is the only manner in which the air may be quieted, raise it, and calm your mind. The sword will take care of the rest. Dane Nomos. Duke, wait! Dane Nomos. That's the name of the sword of the Imperial line that's been missing all this time. And what are you doing with it? Why does something like that have the power to control the air? Who are you? The answers to those questions are not what you should be seeking now. Go, before you are too late. Yeah, before killing Estelle is the only answer to all the problems we have right now. Soon, you will learn for yourselves the true weight of the burden borne by the Entelechea. <sighs> He's a cool guy, but way too moody. <laughs> if my memory serves me right, we also ran into him in Gasparost. Who is he? I don't know. I can't even tell if he's a friend or a foe. Come on! That formula... It's just like Estelle's! So that sword really is... Maybe it's an uh, anti-Estelle? Like it does the quite opposite thing? And that way it quells the air, this distortion. Dane Nomos. Dane Nomos, the child of the full moon, the resolve that impressed Pharaoh? Just who the hell is this Duke guy? Well, judging from what he says, it seems he's in contact with Pharaoh. And he has the sword Prince Yoder's been looking for. I don't like this. Yeah, but why would he just lend us something as important as Dane Nomos? I thought he was stubborn, but maybe he's actually willing to listen to reason. I wouldn't get my hopes up about that. We just have to do what we can for now. Yeah, let's hurry. Yeah, I'm pretty sure if we take too long that he will come back, steal the sword and... Well, put it into Estelle. A simple tent. Anything else? Uh, let's have a quick look. Cause uh, we, we still have plenty of other things that uh, we need to learn. Well, relatively speaking, of course. Oh, the one we have right now is actually the last one. And let's see. Ooh, we are almost there. Oh yeah, let's finish it and then uh, put it on here and check out what the special is. Yeah, 
It does mean we have to do a few extra fights. And let's just uh, use humans, cause they do have a tendency to drop uh, healing items. I won't lose. Well, you won't know until it happens. Yeah, and just to let uh, Flynn do his uh, alternatives. Because if he does it enough, he gets to uh, keep it. <laughs> Same goes for everyone else, by the way. I wonder if uh, the sword will also give us extra abilities during a fight. Like uh, break people easier or something like that. I can imagine that that's going to be a sword that we won't have forever. I'm pretty sure the Duke will uh, come back for it. You can't win. I'm just getting started. <laughs> Unless our uh, resolve has been proven worthy. And with this fight, it should be enough. <laughs> I found your weak spot. You're a uh, well, too little uh, HP. Oh, it's not there yet. Come on, we're really close. Yeah, I, I guess uh, if we want to make sure that everybody has plenty of TP to use all the time. We have to find a way to get more emerald rings. Because uh, Rita is wearing one and ever since then her usage is more than acceptable. So if we can do that with the rest that would be perfect. The thing is, it always seems that if you're waiting for a skill to be finished, it always feels like it's taking so much longer than it's supposed to. Slivers, slivers. I won't lose. Yeah, once we uh, have the sword uh, equipped and we've checked the rest as well. We can uh, go through the door we just opened up and, well, face uh, whatever is on the other side. And hopefully it's Alexei and Estelle, because, well, let's be honest, we do want to rescue her. Let's go. 
There it is, Super Chain 5. More interest in this little pretty boy. Uh, let's see if there's nothing worth being equipped to this. Uh, trigger a Mystic Art with over limit level 3 or above. Hold B after an Arcana or above. Ooh, we definitely want uh, that standard. Cause, well, if we use like one of these, so not, not a standard one, but maybe just a normal Dragon Swarm or Shining Dragon Swarm, and then we hold the B button, we will do a Mystic Art, which I gotta assume is gonna do some tremendous damage. Alright, I can uh, get behind that. Uh, let's see which one is the highest one and <laughs> the one that we have equipped so I'm gonna leave that until we uh, get at least outside of this uh, dungeon because I'm pretty sure once we uh, get to Alexei and Estelle Alexei is gonna be a very 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 tough one Straight up missed him. Yeah, we will. And having said that, with overlimited to level 3, I wonder if there is level 4 or level 5. Because I know we are pretty far in the game, but it would be really nice if there's one or two extra levels. Ooh, Winby. I can't believe this is Dane Nomos. The proof of Imperial Secession. Yuri, you can become the Emperor! This is just for decoration. I wouldn't want to be the Emperor even if I could. You're so young, yet you have no ambition. Says the little girl playing dress-up. The lost proof of Imperial Succession. When you get down to it, the loss of that sword was the source of all the fighting over the succession to the throne. Was Duke really the one who stole it? Who says he stole it? Maybe he got it by someone who wanted that conflict. Hey, hey, give me a break. Don't go saying the Imperial Knights are gonna claim this sword. I know. This isn't the time for that. Duke went around using that sword to control Air Crane. Oh! So Duke's doing the same thing as the Antilochia! Maybe so. That sword... It produced the same phenomenon as Estelle did. Maybe the Rizomata formula was already worked out once before, but then why was that information lost? Maybe it wasn't lost, maybe it was hidden by the ones that were carrying the swords for generations? Maybe it's related to the Cataclysm, like the way that the Blastia was lost. Why did that become an Imperial treasure? There are tons of things we don't know about this sword. But let's wait to figure them out until we've settled things here. Right now, rescuing Estelle is our top priority. Right, let's hurry. He is right though, we need to figure out more. But it's not our top priority at the moment. Alright, I'm gonna guess the side is gonna... Oh, one of those. Again, like I said, we've, we'll all figure it out. I just don't know it at this time. Oh, there are a lot of those at the moment. Mermaid Cloak. Well, since you are in our main team, definitely have it. And the thing is, if we do learn how to get through those uh, walls, do we want to do it straight away, or do we want to uh, first uh, finish this level and then get back? 
because even if we can go there, it's there's a really good chance that it's just uh, for extra items, gear, and that kind of stuff. Enemies are really behaving today. Yeah, can you imagine having to fight all those? I would. Alright, so that's the way forward, so now I'm curious to see what the other one is. It has to be a room with a that's a separate chest. Yeah, it is. Ooh, mitral plate. Well, you know who's gonna get that one? Oh, he already has one. <laughs> yeah, maybe for Raven uh, if he ever decides to uh, come back. I still wonder what's going on with that, cause he hasn't been mentioned since we got here. Like, he's been forgotten. So I reckon we're gonna get some information about that at some point. It has to, right? Cause uh, he and Estelle left at the same time. So there has to be a connection with that. The only thing we know is that he's very suspicious. But that doesn't say anything, does it? Ooh, Mazakari Cleaver. Nice. That should definitely be better. <laughs> it is so easily spread out. Perfect. Ooh, no, this is getting interesting. Okay, no, whoa! Oh. Didn't even think for a second we could fall uh, down. <laughs> I just thought, oh, we're gonna be stopped at the edge, but no. Ah, we fell. Ah, oh, damn it. They could have made these paths a little bit wider. Hmm, probably a precaution to keep out trespassers. I see. <laughs> no wonder it's so dark in here. Well, let's say uh, stay on our toes so we don't run into another one of these. Well, at least we got some unique text because of it. Uh, it's another total loss. Alright, what we did didn't change uh, anything. I thought maybe when we switched the button and we got that indicator that... Uh, it might have opened up one of the walls, but sadly it didn't. But it's okay. So far we're not too far away. But let's try to avoid falling into uh, more of those holes, shall we? <laughs> and I'm pretty sure there's a good chance if we do it multiple times the game will... Uh, well, make fun of us for it. <laughs> Is it still on? And the same thing as before, it looks even more flashy than the other ones. But in short, we still have no idea what it actually does.
No. <laughs> well, we know once we reach a save point that we are getting closer. Alright, save point. Full heal save point? Wouldn't mind that. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely full heal save point. So we definitely have another scene uh, up ahead. Alright, let's uh, try it and see what happens. Aww. And a lot of treasure too. It's gonna be healing items. I'm mainly doing it as I did it once before. It's mainly so all the chests will be opened. Restores 10% of max HP for every enemy defeated. For the aggressive fighters. Will be great for Yuri at some point. Oh no, they destroyed it. Astal, how does it feel to face your last moments in the very temple built to worship you? <laughs> Wretched human. Enough! Alexei, please stop this! <laughs> if you are so eager to free him from his suffering, why not use your healing arts to comfort him? <laughs> you are utterly powerless. Yeah, and you're utterly an ass. That's uh, for sure. Alone, you are nothing more than a poisonous blight to this world. I'm sure you understand that now. Estelle, are you all right, Lady Esteles? Estelle, we've come to save you. You again? What stubborn, misguided fools you all are! Yuri, Flynn, all of you. Estelle, we've come to rescue you. <laughs> you are incapable of saving this princess. I am her only hope for salvation. Spare me. The most glorious moment for any tool is when it is finally used. Even the poison of this world can be a blessing if used correctly. And only I can do that. Such... Arrogance. It's remarkable, actually. Now, Princess, come with me. Without me, I'm afraid your power. Alexei! Ah! Alexei, stop! Oh! Judith! <clears throat> Weren't you Entelakea supposed to be masters of this world? Stop it! Let us still go! And another one killed oh, by ill intent. He's dead. But how can that be? Smaller than I would have hoped. No matter. It can be used in any number of ways. Alexei! Ah, you've come this far. Now, be baptized in the air your dear princess charged with her own hands. Ah! Ah! No! Please stop this! Ah! Take this! What? What are you doing with that sword? What happened to Duke? He gave this to us before he took off. And he didn't seem all that worried about you. What irony. That which I have searched for all these years. That it would arrive at my feet only when I no longer have a need for it. With the child of the full moon, the apatheia, and my knowledge, De Nomos means nothing to me. Talk to yourself a lot, huh? Not a good sign. Now shut up and let Estelle go. <laughs> Are you certain that is what the princess wants? Your Highness? Estelle! What's going on? Estelle! I... I don't know. What are you talking about?
talking about? As long as I'm with you all, I'll only cause you harm. Yes, but they're your friends. They choose to, even knowing what dangers might uh, happen. Because they want to help you and save you. Ah, sometimes it happens quite a lot in stories when the some one of the people just goes away because they are afraid of hurting their friends, which is a noble idea. But when the friends know about what she's doing and choose to be with her, isn't it a slight disrespectful just to uh, then go? <laughs> yeah, your friends are here for a reason. Lean on them. Together. Forget about that, Estelle. Get over here. If there's something you're unsure about, we'll work it out together. Yuri. I... I can't take this. Now, now, Mr. Yuri Lowell. Such brash behavior does not befit a young lady's escort. Not very gentlemanly of you at all. <laughs> Says the one person uh, kidnapping a princess and torturing her to use the power she has in her fingertips. Sorry for my lack of manners. There aren't many gentlemen where I'm from. That sword is nothing more than an annoyance now. I will rid myself of you here. Yuri, everyone! Schwan. I thought you always let your knights handle things for you. What's with the change? <laughs> what is it, Repeat? I suppose there's no fooling the nose of a dog. <laughs> <laughs> Raven. It is him, isn't it? Yeah, this actually explains a lot. The coincidence of meeting him in prison all the way in the beginning him always coming back being here always he was just a spy wasn't he <laughs> uh, that voice wait raven huh the old man what's going on this doesn't look like a joke one of the union's most important members is a captain in the knights the first time we met, I didn't think it was possible, but... Huh. So that's what was going on. Wait! But what about the Dawn, Raven? So it wasn't just the Commandant, but you too. Why? Conversing with you is not one of my duties. Raven! We're in a bit of a hurry, so let us through. Wait. You're not really thinking of trying to stop us, are you? What the uh, hell? He is. Schwan Ulterrain, first captain of the Imperial Knights, ready to do battle. Really, Raven? All the time we spent together, all those hours, it means nothing to you? Nope, it means nothing. Sorry. Yeah, straight to uh, scanning, cause uh, I'm sure this is gonna be. Yeah, this is gonna be hard. <laughs> Gonna go easy just because you're old. I would be honored to fight with everything I have. Captain, I never thought I'd have to fight you. I'm pleased this opportunity has come. Come on, Raven, do it. Why? Why? I will tell you again. I am not Raven. I hate you. Many people. Ah, hate yeah, the game is not letting me try the mystic art. It just keeps on pushing back my over limit. Really? So the Raven was nothing more than a character to him? Okay, so it was a bomb that he put on me, a trap. 
which is a very raven thing to do. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, come on, I was defending this. a little bit of a pick me up right you're you're can, can, can you get up man well uh what was that uh weakness Oh, Jesus, we're not even halfway there. He is very powerful, and that Mystic Heart? No joke. But it may also mean that I'm pretty sure he's gonna have uh, something different uh, there. Come on, this is not the type of fight that we want the burst to uh, not work. Oh god, not again. Yeah, yeah, this is just uh, not my not allowing me to do anything. This is just a stun lock. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> I I hate that that's the one thing that in this game I just can't seem to get out of. Which other stills I have is that I, I when I'm stun locked I can't get out of it. There's just nothing I can seem that I can do. Oh well. As long as we can make through the fight, it's fine. that up for you. That's uh, your as well. well. We are getting there. Oh, that definitely helps. No, not now, not again. Trying to stop his mystic art. Uh, don't involve yourself, Lin. At least I got uh, one of him, uh, one of it out of it. After all this time, I'll take out anyone. Jesus, did it that much damage? It's Raven. Doesn't matter. Oh, he was, uh, he was tough but fair. I have to agree with that. Let's give ourselves some pudding. 
a force ring. I just keep getting stronger. He let his guard down. Hey! What is that? Huh. I would have thought such a blow would be the end of me. Of this cursed body. What the? Is that a blastia on his chest? It's his heart. Or rather, a blastia that has taken its place. The original was lost ten years ago. Ten years? You mean in the Great War? I lost my life during that war. But Alexei saw fit to give it back to me with this. It's hard to believe he'd go that far. So that must be a Hermes Blastia as well. Why did Ba'ul not notice it then? I would imagine that is because it isn't powered by air, but by my own life force. A Blastia powered only by human vitality? No way! But what was that? Guess we're not going oh no. back. We're trapped in here. That would be Alexei. He intends to bury you alive. But that's crazy. You're still in here. Yes, he's intend to bury him too. It probably served the purpose he uh, needed from him. <laughs> he couldn't pass up a chance to dispose of that sword. Now that it's of no use to him. So he was using Estelle to lure Duke here. This guy's even more twisted than I thought. Hey, old man! This is no time to be standing around! The end has finally arrived for me. You never intended to leave this place alive. Captain Schwan! Who said you just get to lay down and die right here? Even if all your travels with us were just some joke to you? Are you trying to tell me your anger at the Dawn's death was just an act too? I thought the guilds never quit until the job was done! Wasn't that his dying wish? You go on living till the end. Man, you really can be a downer sometimes, you know that? <laughs> if he wanted to, he could escape. We're not gonna make it! Raven... Raven! No! If you use your Blastia like that, the condition you're in, you'll... I can't keep this up forever! Get out of here! Oh, man! Captain Schwan! Alexei's headed for the capital. There, he'll implement the final stages of his plan. The rest, I'll leave in your hands. Raven! Raven! Carol, come on. But... Move! <sighs> yeah, don't let his sacrifice be in vain. And you know, if he survives, he will be back. Must be getting soft in my old age. But yeah, dropping the entire building on your head that does not uh, help. Raven! That idiot! So he really was one of us after all! Damn it! You idiot! Why'd that have to happen? Why? Look alive! We got a princess that needs rescuing! Now step to it! Come now. Let's go. Yeah, mourn later. Stuck with another job nobody much wants? As always. It's nothing. We are actually in a hurry. The Heracles is gone! Just like Raven said, they must have left for Zophius already. Y Yuri Lowell! What are you doing here? Uh, don't tell me that's Toodle D and Toodle Dumb. Oh, wait. 
they, they were the Swan Brigade, weren't they? So, <laughs> yeah, we might need to answer for that. And Captain Flynn, too? LeBlanc? Even Tweedle A and Tweedle B are here. And I what say, is a Tweedle? Out with it! Fools! This is not the time for nonsense! What wonderful timing, Captain Flynn! You didn't happen to see Captain Schwann, did you? We haven't been able to get a hold of him since he went by himself to coordinate with His Excellency the Commandant. I honestly cannot understand what His Excellency is thinking lately. The Royal Guard won't tell us anything. We looked all over for him and we finally arrived here, but... <sighs> Alexei is on his way to the capital, in Heracles. Ah, we just missed him then. And what about Captain Schwann? R Schwann saved us! Oh, did he now? So then he's aboard the Heracles as well? He's in the shrine. The deepest part. What? Wait, you... No. This is not happening. It can't be. What is the meaning of this? Captain Flynn, answer me! Captain Flynn! We almost died thanks to Alexei. The only reason we're standing here now is because of your captain! That man was a true knight. Alexei apparently has some sort of secret plan for the Empire. And it can't be good. We're going to make sure he doesn't get the chance to carry it out. If you are any kind of knights at all, you won't stand in our way. But how? How could it have come to this? If we don't hurry, the Heracles is going to get away! Let's hurry. I'll call Ba'ul. Yeah, we have places to be, haven't we? Alright, but for now, I'll leave the episode here. Next time we're gonna continue from where we are right now and head for Safia's well, after we went to another place. Just to rest up, restock supplies and then get ready, cause if we're going there, Alexa, he has to be someone we have to fight and we want to be prepared for it. But for now, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be back next time, cause we're giving chase. So I'll see you then. Bye bye.